Ever wondered about the wandering poles of our home planet? Well, buckle up, because our magnetic poles are on the move. That's right, the very forces that guide our compass needles north and south aren't as fixed as we might assume. Now let's dive a little deeper. The Earth has its own magnetic shield, an invisible protective layer that safeguards our planet from harmful solar radiation. It's like the Earth's very own superhero cape. But like any great superhero story, there's a twist. Every now and then, our planet's magnetic poles decide to switch places. Yes, you heard that right. North becomes south and south becomes north. This phenomenon known as geomagnetic reversal, or simply pole shift, is like a giant game of musical chairs on a planetary scale. But it's not all fun and games. When these shifts occur, they cause a bit of a ruckus. The Earth's magnetic shield experiences disruptions, creating gaps that allow harmful solar radiation to seep in. And here's the kicker. These disruptions have the potential to render our Earth completely uninhabitable for anywhere between 500 to 1,000 years. That's a long time without our protective shield, wouldn't you agree? Researchers from Florida International University have been digging into this, quite literally. They've taken samples from sedimentary layers of different regions of the Earth, spanning four different geological periods. These samples provide a snapshot of what the Earth's magnetic field was like at the time of their formation. What they found was quite fascinating. The pole shift phenomenon takes about 2,000 years to complete, but it's not a one-size-fits-all kind of process. The rate of change in the magnetic field varies across the globe. It happens faster in the tropics and at high altitudes, while near the poles, it takes a slower pace. So the poles are shifting. But what does that mean for us? Well, let's just say that the clock is ticking, and unfortunately the alarm is set to go off much sooner than we thought. Stay tuned as we delve into the science behind the shift in our next segment. Let's dive into the science behind these wandering poles. The researchers at Florida International University embarked on an intriguing journey to shed more light on this phenomenon. They delved into the sedimentary layers of the Earth, spanning four different geological periods. By examining these samples, they were able to glean insights into the state of Earth's magnetic field at the time of their formation. Picture this. Each layer of sediment is like a page in a history book, each holding a snapshot of the Earth's magnetic field at a specific point in time. This provided a timeline, a historical record, if you will, of the shifts in Earth's magnetic poles. The study revealed that a full pole shift, a complete flip of the Earth's magnetic field, takes approximately 2,000 years to complete. But here's the kicker. The rate of change in the magnetic field isn't uniform across the globe. It's a bit like a dance with different parts of the Earth moving to their own rhythm. In the tropical regions and high altitudes, these changes pirouette at a faster pace. But near the poles, the movement is more akin to a slow waltz. It's a symphony of movement that's constantly in flux, with the poles not just shifting but also wandering and wobbling. This dance, this shifting of the poles, is a natural phenomenon. It's a part of Earth's long history, and it's expected to continue into the future. But the question on everyone's mind is, when is the next shift expected to happen? Well, the answer is not as clear-cut as we'd like. The last pole shift occurred about 780,000 years ago. According to the patterns observed, another shift should have already taken place. But the Earth doesn't operate on a strict timetable, and the exact timing of these shifts remains elusive. So, the poles are moving. But when do scientists predict the next shift will occur? The answer to that question might be sooner than we think, and the implications are far-reaching. But more on that in the next scene. The countdown to the next pole shift is on, but how much time do we have left? This question looms large as scientists grapple with data that suggests a shift is due sooner than we might think. The magnetic North Pole is a restless traveller, moving at an astonishing rate of 7.34 kilometres per year. Back in the 1830s, the explorer James Clark Ross pinpointed the magnetic North Pole in Nunavut, Canada. At that time, the pole's wandering pace was neither swift nor far from the geographic North Pole. But as we moved into the 90s, the pace of its journey started to quicken. By 2001, the magnetic North Pole was situated at 81.3 degrees north, 
and 110.8 degrees west. By 2005, it had moved to 83.1 degrees north and 117.8 degrees west. By 2009, it had shifted further to 84.9 degrees north and 131 degrees west. By the end of 2017, the magnetic north pole crossed the meridian, a clear indication of its relentless march. This rapid movement is a stark reminder of the phenomenon of shifting magnetic poles that our planet has experienced throughout its history. The last time this occurred was approximately 780,000 years ago. According to research, we're overdue for another shift. The speed at which the magnetic field is changing has prompted the US National Geophysical Information Center and the British Geological Survey to make a preliminary update to the global magnetic model last year. This model, a representation of the Earth's magnetic field, is used in all navigation and positioning systems, including the smartphones we use daily. The increasing speed of the pole's movement, combined with complex calculations, suggests that sadly the younger generations of our time may witness the deterioration of Earth's protective magnetic shield within their lifetime. But what does this rapid pole shift mean for our everyday life? That's the question we'll tackle next, as we delve into the potential consequences of this extraordinary natural event. Fasten your seatbelts as we delve into the potential consequences of the shifting poles. The rapid changes in the Earth's magnetic field have necessitated an urgent update of the global magnetic model. This model, a representation of the Earth's magnetic field, plays a pivotal role in our everyday lives, though we might not realize it. Navigation and positioning systems, from the GPS on your smartphone to the navigational tools on large vessels, rely on this model for accuracy. Now, imagine for a moment if this model were to become inaccurate. A pilot, depending on his instruments for a safe landing, could be led astray. A hiker, relying on their compass, might find themselves lost in the wilderness. The potential for misdirection and confusion is vast. The very tools we rely on to guide us could become our downfall. And yet, the changes in our magnetic field could have consequences far beyond our navigational systems. Some researchers suggest a potential link between the shift in the Earth's magnetic poles and global warming. The idea is that the movement of the magnetic poles might be causing changes in the Earth's core, leading to an increase in the planet's temperature. While this theory is still under investigation, it does add another layer of complexity to our understanding of global warming. It suggests that our planet's climate might be influenced by more than just human activity. It also raises the question of whether we could see even more drastic changes in our climate as the poles continue to shift. So, if the shifting poles could disrupt our navigation systems and potentially intensify global warming, what does this mean for us? Well, it means we need to be prepared. We need to understand the changes that are happening and how they might affect us. We need to adapt our tools and systems to keep up with these changes. So with this knowledge, how should we prepare for a future pole shift? As we face the inevitability of a pole shift, how can we brace ourselves for the changes to come? The world stands on the brink of a magnetic pole shift, an event beyond our control, a phenomenon as old as the Earth itself. But as with any challenge, the key to survival lies in understanding, adaptation and preparation. While we cannot prevent the shifting poles, we can equip ourselves with knowledge and understanding. The more we study this phenomenon, the more we uncover about the Earth's magnetic field, its patterns and its idiosyncrasies. Researchers from all corners of the globe are delving into the sedimentary layers of our Earth, unearthing secrets from different geological periods, each sample whispering tales of the Earth's magnetic field at the time of its formation. This continuous pursuit of knowledge is our first line of defense. The Earth's magnetic field doesn't change at the same rate everywhere. It's faster in the tropics and the highlands, slower near the poles. This uneven pace of change, while challenging, offers opportunities for us to understand and prepare for the impacts of the shift in different regions. We must also acknowledge our role in this grand scheme. The Earth's magnetic field influences our navigation and positioning systems down to the smartphone in your pocket. As the magnetic field changes, 
so too must our technologies adapt. This adaptation isn't just a necessity, it's an opportunity for innovation, a call to our inventors and scientists to rise to the challenge. Moreover, we must prepare ourselves for the potential impacts on our planet's climate. Some researchers suggest that the pole shift could be linked to the recent strange warming of our planet. If this is the case, we must redouble our efforts to understand and mitigate climate change, not just for our sake, but for the generations to come. The poles may be shifting, but with understanding and preparation, we continue to thrive on this ever-changing planet. With each shift, each change, we learn, we adapt, we evolve. The Earth's magnetic pole shift is a testament to the dynamism of our planet and in turn a testament to our own resilience. Subscribe to the channel for more video and please give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this.